Your TV is not broken. This is not a test. Tuck Grandma in because it's time for Keeping It Real with Adrian and John. Hello and welcome to Keeping It Real. My name is Adrian. And my name is John. Since this is our first episode, we thought we'd start by telling you what the show's about. Exactly. And what that really boils down to is our crew taking our cameras out and filming local artists and people in the area. Yeah, and we're not haters either. If you have any videos that you, you want to share, we might air them. Uh, we won't be discriminating on any different styles that you might have out there. But we want to keep a certain level of professionalism too. This means we won't have any unoriginal stuff. No cover songs, no footage from licensed products, and no nudity. While well, editors don't mind blurring or bleeping out inappropriate material, there's only so much we can get away with on public access. Just remember that this is our show, and like the title says, we will keep it real. Meaning, if you suck, you might get called on it. Yeah, so be careful when sending in your stuff. You know, I want to get your feelings here. Now that all the legal crap is out of the way, we want you to know that fun is the main objective of this show. We're going to be making skits and short films of all kinds. That's right. We'll be focused on this segment we call Idiots Unleashed. Tonight's video it's Unleashed is brought to us by a friend of the show, Mr. Michael D. Herrera and his friends. He tells us this is one of a series of short films that he is making. All of which will hopefully be shown on Idiots Unleashed. But in the meantime, let's check out this one. out of this. We always find a way. Not this time. Not both of us. What do you mean? They're never going to stop chasing me. Take this. Run for the canyon. No, I'm not going to leave you. We don't have any time. Go! Go! Leave him to die with his bitch.
I got to say, Michael has some pretty impressive filmmaking skills. You know, he's only 18. Wow. Yeah, for those of us that don't know Michael D. Herrera, he looks like he's about 12. But I do recognize that back room as PMI. It was kind of cool. That video was a good example of the kind of stuff we want to see here on Keeping It Real. But don't get discouraged if your video is not as clean. We all can't be Michael. We will accept all sorts of videos for this segment. Yeah, we want comedy, action, drama, or whatever else you people come up with out there. Stay tuned for the end of the show to find out how to send in your videos. Guess what, John? What's up? Now it's time for a segment of the show where we talk about the things that are or not popping in the Pueblo area, entertainment-wise. That's right. This will change every show. One episode will have something about a movie review. Another episode will have a review of a band or concert or something. And every other show, we'll have a special guest of ours stop in and give us a heads up on local shows and events for you to catch in the local area. Nice. That man's name is David Browder. Yeah, he has his fingers in all the holes of entertainment in Pueblo. Wow, John. Sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> anyway, and here is David to tell us about a few events he has lined up for 2011. David? Thanks, guys. Well, middle of nowhere, Even in Sound has been around since January of 2009. Got my start by booking shows at the downtown bar with local acts like the Haunted Wind Chimes and Mark's Midnight Carnival Show. And quickly we were able to gain notoriety with national touring acts to become a major venue in town. I was able to raise enough money to buy my own PA system and I started doing events around town like the Local for Locals Farmers Market, the Home and Garden nail driving competition and many more events like that. Quickly as well with the with the notoriety I guess you could say of the 2000 of the 24 hour film festival put on by Pulp. A lot of people were wanting to do a film festival so I organized the Spring Fling Film Festival back in 2009 and now we're on to our third annual film festival this year. It's going to be happening on April 1st at the Impossible Playhouse located at 1201 North Main. This year's theme is going to be April Fools, since we're doing it on April 1st. Films have to be 10 minutes in length, no more, and the deadline for those are March 18th. You can find out the information on my website at www.moneventandsound.com. That's moneventandsound.com. So check it out. I love to have any kind of local uh, filmmakers who are out there put out their films. We've had anywhere from eight to ten filmmakers want to have more than that. But because of everything going on, I was able to uh, start booking multiple venues. I'm now booking at the Cock and Bowl, <coughs> booking at Tea Tree Cafe, Bingo Burger, Bill's Radiator, and a whole lot more. So if there are any local acts out there looking for a place to play, give me a call. My name's David at 719-248-3735. I will do my best to find a place for you that fits right with your music. As well, on January 8th, we are doing a major benefit show at the downtown bar. It's called Punks for Pups. We're going to have the Insecurities, Bleach, and American Morning. It's starting at 10 p.m. It's a $3 cover, and it all goes to benefit the Paws Animal Shelter. So bring in any dog treats, dog food, toys, all donations are going to be greatly accepted and greatly appreciated. We want to make this a major event for Pueblo.